one of the things I love about my job, you know, the things I do for a living, every now and again, I get a prototype to play with. This is a prototype for the AHP Alpha TIG 203 XI. There were only two of them in existence when I got this one. I hear they're on the market now. This machine will be a little bit different from anything you guys may find out there, but it's just fun, you know, starting at the very beginning. So right out of the box, first thing I noticed, good God, it's tiny. <laughs> it's small. You know, compared to the 200s or the 201s, it's a little bit shorter front to back. It's a whole lot shorter in height-wise, about the same width, I think. Now, the whole front of the machine, all the cable hookup, you know, your gas line, your, your hookup for your finger control, that's all still the same. Still got the little flappy piece of clear uh, plastic cover over the screen. But look at this. It's got an LCD screen in it now. Adjustments over here, AC, DC for TIG, AC, DC for stick, and then it's got a rapid set, power light, you know, a fault light, just a knob to adjust your, your amperages. So I know I'm, I'm going to be playing with some eighth inch cold roll steel here in a second, so let's just set it up for that. Let's drop down to DC on the TIG. It's showing 103 amps. We'll boost that up to well, about 125, let's say, what the heck, 130. It's set at 4T for a finger control and high frequency start. Across the bottom, you have a whole bunch of extra presets in there. So pre-flow, post-flow, uh, your starting amps, ending amps, and then you get into your pulse settings. And the pulse, you can kill it just by this arrow button. And then if we go to AC, some more settings will show up over here as well. So what the heck? We're all set up. Let me get my gear. Let's go weld something. So let's see what we got here. You see a nice stable little arc, you know, from the video. Plays down a nice little bead. I'm liking it. You know, and with 200 amps to play with over there, you know, plus all the pulse functions, plus you got AC, plus you got stick, and it does come with the Nova package. So you get the brand new foot pedal, butter smooth, really, really easy. And it has the adjustable swivel head on the torch. So you can set it up to any angle you want, whatever you're welding. I like them. They're really handy. They are on the market right now. They just came in. So pop out to the AHP website and check them out. But before you go, let's grab some aluminum and do some of that too. So we just want to jump over to AC real quick. Let's try out the power set function while we're there. So the top arrow, you know, the down arrow, if you will, that'll run us through all the different uh, modes. So we're back at AC for TIG welding. Hit the power set bun button. Tungsten. Let's jump over to eighth inch tungsten, because that's what I've got in there. And we're going to jump over to, it's already sitting on eighth inch uh, material thickness, 4T, high frequency, 125 amps. That was quick. <laughs> Let's get back to it. That was just way too easy, guys. Quick to set up, easy to weld with, just a nice, nice little bead. Balance is set just right. Amperage range is just right. You know, AC, DC, TIG, stick. Almost all the features you would expect on a big, you know, a much bigger, much more expensive TIG. The only, only function this machine does not have, this machine, the prototype, 
it did not come with the up and down slope, but the little bird whispered in my ear and said, oh yeah, on the production models, it's in there already. It's fully featured now. It's got, it's got all the bells and whistles in it on the production models. So I'm jealous. You guys are going to get a better machine than I've got. They're saying $800 for this machine, and it's supposed to be available in mid to late March. Now, that little bird also said, oh, we got 40 of them in the warehouse over in, in California. So call AHP. Don't try to order it on the site. Call them. I want one of those machines, and I want it right now, buddy. Nice machine. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give me a like. See you next time. Uh...